I'm Vance Lucius, taking over for your former play-by-play -play commentator. We're going to kick this off with, I believe, a 16-man tournament to determine the number one contender for the TV title. As far as I know, Andrew is out with a severe broken jaw after that last man standing match he had with Jack Henry. So far, Chino, a former lightweight champion, trying to make his way through the ranks, perhaps? Who he's facing? No one knows. I can't tell you. Well, oh dear God. This is not good. Not good at all. Uh, Chino, I wish you luck, because you are going to need it. And I mean that. As far as I've seen, bloodshed will kick your head off. Mind game this man plays. It's creepy. People say this guy's creepy. Lights, fluids, all of it. <sighs> Did he just roll his eyes backwards? Colorado will tie at the start. Bloodshed with the waist lock into a back suplex. Bloodshed backing off. Without chancery. Looking for a neck breaker. Gino already. Gino not even getting out of the blocks. Bloodshed firing away. And Gino a springboard back elbow. Bloodshed knocking him right back off. Hit the gut. Off the ropes. And no, Gino with a DDT. Gino on the back. Waist lock. No, snap me by Bloodshed. Bloodshed laying in the boot. Calling up a type again. Side headlock by Bloodshed. Into a knee into the gut. And DDT of his own. And Gino shot into the gut. Got the wrist. And. But he tried to break his arm and elbow drop. Front drop kick. Okay, back soup. No. Reverse DDT onto his knee. Gino with the waist lock again. And going into the buckle. Turn him around. And send him into the opposite side. And a clothesline. And a springboard crossbody splash. Bloodshed fighting back. Kick blocked. Shoved him off. Punch. No, do you know the kick? Punch. Side to uh, block, I mean. And a head by the shoulder blade. Going for the arm bar after a couple stomps. But no. Front chancery by Bloodshed into a reverse Russian leg sweep. You know, no, shoved right off. And another DDT from Bloodshed. 
Pick it him up. Oh god, here we go! Octopus stretch! Put all the torque into the abdomen. Is Juno gonna fight out of it or tap? And he tapped! Juno has burst one out! The bloodshed moves into the second round. Give it to Gino. You try the fight, but don't. Once you get locked to that octopus, you ain't getting out. Let's just lock you in that octopus. You're not getting out of it. to the second match of this, this tournament. Or as I can see by the pa papers. It's crazy. When did he... Oh, right. He came back a long time ago. Yes, yeah, so this is the first time, so... There's going to be some screw-ups. <clears throat> crazy after making a run for a title? That isn't something no one cares about. <laughs> That'll be a surprise. Who is he fighting is what I want to know. God, not him. Crazy. I wish you luck. I said it to Juno and it didn't work for him. But when you get a there, someone that loves to go to look there. These words, why can't I not think of them? This misfit knows what it is when it comes to getting extreme. And speaking of extreme, ECW. Hard 14, 2015. After five year absence. And crazy early sh surefire with the shots. But the draw kick did not connect. And an another one. Launch him into the ropes. And waist lock. Into a back suplex. Oh, flare at the wrist. And a side hip toss. <clears throat> Front chancery by flare. Into the buckle. Gonna go shoulder first. <clears throat> Flair's gonna choke him out. And dropping the elbow. Flair picking him right back up. Side headlock. And a jawbreaker. How does he keep his hair so straight? Coming elbow. Equaled. Flair firing off. Oh, crazy with the Russian leg sweep. Off with not the ropes. And a Thez press. The shot's raining down. 
There's you firing away. Going for a slingshot suplex. And flare of the neck breaker. I believe Crazy was trying to go for a clothesline. And I believe that's an elbow to the head. Could not tell from the angle. Crazy side headlock. Going into the buckle. Going for punches. One, two. No, only a two. Flair. Elbow to the back of the neck. Punching away. Got two elbow drops. And a third. Hit a half trick. Went for the fourth, but he got too cocky on it. No crazy punching away. No flair. By chancery. Oh god. Side effect. And Flair dragging him all the way from the rope. Shooting the half. One. Two. No. Crazy kicked out. Oh, wait. Flair. Setting him up. Going for the flare gun. Brought him up and down. One. Two. No. Kicked out. I, I don't think I've seen anyone kick out of the flare gun yet. Then again, it's my first time here, so that could be true. There's two forearm shots across the face. Side so headlock and a European uppercut. And another forearm across the face. Going after the arm. Laying in a single boot. And dragging him to the ropes. Punch. Crazy with the rest. Put him against the ropes. Oh god. Flair on the outs on that middle rope. Crazy. DDT! The flare's busted wide open. Crazy. CKO! CKO! That's in that brutal DDT off the middle rope. One, two, three! And Crazy wins the first round. Oh damn! I thought Crazy would have been out after that. Just of how the whip was a little like whiplash. No! This DDT was the beginning of the end. Busted him right up. That busted him wide open. After the CKO, the three count. And Chris Crazy moves on to the second round. To face bloodshed, if I'm correct. And I'm just making that assumption because I don't know what order this is all in. Well, I didn't believe, think there were commercials around here, but I guess I was proven wrong. What are the Tekken Champions doing out here? Nope. I'll look through these papers. <sighs> Where's the other Japanese? Where are you lost? Oh, here it is. Non-title tag team match against Enhanced Intellect. Well then, that must be what we're being treated to now. To change away from the TV title tournament. 
a lot of number of contendership. Okay, so Alex Davis in white, Chuck in the jeans, Chuck with the side headlock, and a back elbow from Davis. Davis going out with the boot, and the rear waist lock into a back suplex. Punch blocked, and Chuck follow up with his own. Chuck with the back with suplex out of the waist lock. Punch, punch, punch. Now four, oh, Chuck just thrown shoot punches. Ham bones, if you will. Oh god, here we go, fall away slam! They're gonna drop the elbow! Picking Davis right back up. Davis with the Irish whip into the up into the wrong corner. Keeps there. Davis, oh dear god! Muscle Buster! Davis running back to his corner. Tagging in is Bashir, I believe. That's his name. <clears throat> and Bashir saying Chuck into the corner. And these quick tags. And Chuck distracted by Bashir being in the ring. A crucifix! But not the one for the cover. <clears throat> and Bashir, Davis could not get to Bashir. But there's a neat... An assisted knee strike into the gut. And Davis tried for a drop kick, but caught with a Polish hammer. And here comes in the Keith. 7 1, 3 12. Keith, front chancery, and a scoop slam. The sheer. Nope, Keith with the waist lock. And a shin breaker. Leading in a boot, and another one, side headlock by Stevens, and another scoop slam, and front chancery, and a headbutt. Now, Keith Mountain is throwing down some bunches. Keith with the arm, and a tried to break it, it looked like. Punch, punch, punch. We are waist locked by Stevens. No, snap by Bashir. And an elbow drop. And oh, keep trying to knock Davis off the apron. And that that's an eye poke. Come on, ref. And a shot upside the head. That looks like a closed fist. And hard into the buckle. Ow. Bashir spinning neck breaker. Rear waist lock into a back suplex. Being right back up again. This time, Keith sends him over the rope. Nope, Bashir shot upside the head. Get back in the ring. And another spinning neck breaker. Davis getting tagged back in. And Keith pushing him off. Cotel and elbow tie up. Keith easily wins, and a back elbow, running back to his corner, and Chuck side headlock, headbutt of his own, and got him up, Alabama slam, and Keith gonna stop a share from getting involved, with that shoulder tackle, and there's a three count. Running by way of Alabama Slam. That was a rather quick tag team match.
I gotta look through the papers again. It's the first time on the job. Why can't they just tell me in advance? Where is it? Oh, here. Dealer's Fatal 4-Way. Brittany Miller. Christina Crazy. Lauren and... Roxy Dodgers. Forward at the day. Oh! Stream rules be a four way. Okay. That make that good, I guess. In uh, player versus crazy match, but gotta say it again. Saturday, March 14th, a return after five years of absence of ECW. I am once again Van Lucius, your new play-by-play -play commentator. Can't be double booked for I know. Roxy and Bit pairing off, and Crazy and Lauren facing Bit pairing off. It is going to be hard to call. I'll try and keep track as much as I can. Brett with an armbar. Christina bumping into him after from an Irish whip. Punches everywhere. Dropkick from Brett. Neckbreaker from Christina. Oh, the, was that the disc is clothesline? Looked like it at a knee drop. Well, there was a European uppercut. Hard <clears throat> elbow tie up, side headlock, and a back elbow. Lauren with a plunge and a side headlock. Going for a suplex, and there's a back drop. tie up. There's a wrist lock in the other side. And a buckle and a clothesline. Right chance here by Roxy. Back elbow. Kick. Punch. Kick. Back keep like Lauren. Go ahead and screw leg whip. <clears throat> There's a 
Our information from Britain is a bad break from Christina. Wait, why is not my bit? Nope. So cut with a club in the back. Headlock by Christina. No. And back out with Christina. Turning her around. Let's see. Oh, oh, slamming her head into the buckle. Thank God for the padding. Chance by bread. It ever show up to the buckle. Oh, jeez. We got sandwiched. Brett and Lauren. Jeez. Oh, that was a that was a nice German suplex. And Brett already going for a weapon. What's it? What is it? That's a guitar. Just a. I think she bonged it on someone's head. Or more like their back. A gut buster from Roxy. And a jawbreaker from Brit. Side so headlock. Smashed across the face. Side so headlock from Christina. Look like I don't look like another discus that may, that did not connect. Russian Lightspeed nice from Christina. Kick block. That, that looked like that was a bit rolling elbow of any sort. Or a rolling forearm. Christina with the ways to the chop block. And Lauren's got a that that's a baseball bat. Just mm. hearing it echo. Not good. Headlock. Do a drop toe hold. Drop into the knees. Kendo stick. Nope. It's crazy able to interrupt any sort of weapon John be found. And upper European uppercut. Cover. One. No. See all the way that already there to break it. That was a clothesline of SL1. See not what that that was a cheap on suplex. And we already got tables. There's a table. And already right, he's using it to an advantage. Camera focus. God, what 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 did this place run on? There was a dragon screw leg whip, and I believe that was a suplex. Standing shooting star, I could not see it. One. No, now only a one. Bring with the baseball bat. Just upside the head. Kick, kick. A waist lock. Nope, kicking the knees and a jawbreaker. Going back out, look for more weapons. And we're getting some chairs. Armbar in the ring. And there's a calf kick. And so we got us a camel clutch. Roxy making a beeline back in. They'll break it up. Lauren with the wrist. Well, Roxy's looking for more weapons on the other side. Lauren with the bat. Was that a ladder I just saw? That looked like a ladder. CKO! A CKO on that floor! Only a two. Steve almost had the win. Lauren and Roxy paired off again. Britain crazy on the other side, on the other end. Oh god, Brit got her up. That's gonna cause blood to rush to your head. That's a vertical suplex, if anything. <clears throat> Cover. One. No. Lauren being sent back in the ring. There's a ladder. Already not good. Oh, wait. Brit. Changing of the guard. One. No, easily broke, easily kicked out, I believe.
Why did, why did he hit the steps? This brick goes into the barricade. Or, no, rocks, excuse me. Wait, plastic surgery! Wait, two pins, one, two! No, Vogue kicking out at the same time. Going with the crutch in Britt's hands. Uh, Roxy and Christine are fighting over the ladder. Whereas Lauren and Britt are fighting over a crutch. <clears throat> and uh, ladder shot into the face. That ain't good. Brit Lauren with a DDT. Roxy's just pounding away with that ladder. Oh god. The spinning reverse neck breaker. One, two, three. Lauren went the completely wrong way to try and break up that pin. Oh, Roxy got an easy three count after hitting that reverse neck breaker. It was the plastic surgery. It's a good sense of beat down with that letter. That was after that reverse neck breaker. One, two, and the three. Back into this the tournament after two ma after two side matches. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's wearing something that should be, you know, going in two. At least a modified version of one. It's not even cold here. Again, one of the reminds of the question of superstars. Come on, man. Okay. Already seen some news that plays on some different culture at least. Oh, is that very important rule? Tournament rules, no managers. And uh, Sung Cheng. A Pope Scoop Slam. Bun at the stomp bun. Oh, that was a that was a roundhouse kick. Very nice. Pope sit out arm breaker. We're waist lock into a Russian leg sweep. Zung with the German suplex. Shot into the gut. Now just stomping away. Choking him out with his knee again. That first time. And jumping elbow drop. Front chancery. 
Sung going up. Got him up for a beautiful vertical suplex. Stomp, dropped the fifth, fifth, but he missed. And float over neck breaker by Pulp. And for the elbow drop, but he missed. Rips the lock. No. Front chance sweep by Pulp. And a Russian leg sweep by the by Sung Jang. And stop it on the midsection. Looked a little low. Rear waist lock. And a shot to the back. And Pulp over the rope. No, Pulp fighting back. Get right back in. And overdrive. I'm not not even sure what to call that, but I'm just gonna call it that. There's a neck breaker. Laying in some boots. And another one across the face. Picking him back up. Side headlock. No. No. Side headlock by Rut by Sung. And a vertical suplex. So hanging him up a little. Dropping him down hard. And gonna work on the arms. One. No. Gotta do better than that. That looked look like a stiff uppercut. Pulp with the arm and he's not smashing it. Front chancery into a snap suplex. And a double stomp. One, two, no, two. Pulp. Pulp fiction. It inverted DDJ. One, two, no, only a two count. So wrist. Ringing out the arm. Ain't gonna drop that leg. Putting him in. Oh, Boston Crab. A derp. No. Excuse me. Not a Boston Crab. A Camel Clutch. First day, mistakes are going to be made. Pulp, front, that, right over that float over neck breaker again. Cover, one, two, three. Beat him with a second float over neck breaker. That was rather quick. There's this move that I, I'm just gonna call it the overdrive. It's beautiful snap suplex, and then this double stomp. And there was this that we kicked out at two, the Pulp Fiction. Went for the cover here, one, and a, it was only a two. And after the, the second float or neck breaker, we got the three.
this should be an interesting match. I have seen the Punisher in a couple matches, and uh, I believe it was a UWO. Not sure he was the UWO champion at one point, but someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Bellows kicked off the match, cancel with the wrist, and an arm breaker across the shoulder. One for a first punch, but he up, but I believe Rogers ducked it at a clothesline. Stiff one at that. And another one. Rogers has not gotten out of the gate. Castellanian's boots. And Rogers with a tilt of world head scissors. And off the bounce, spraying him off the ropes. No, Castle with a DDT. Rogers shoving him off. Punch, punch, punch. No, third one blocked. Yeah, Rogers, no, getting tossed off into the air. And a forearm across the back of the head. <clears throat> Castle got him in the corner and a stiff clothesline out of it. And Rogers tripping him up, laying in a, some boots. Another one punch. Just blocked by Rogers. The knee into the gut from Castle. A strong punch that knocked Rogers on his ass. Castle went for the kick, but he missed. The cover him with a snapmare. Rogers tripping him up again. Getting kicked off. It went for the DDT again, but caught to a Russian leg sweep. And looked like a variation of that. A variation of a spin kick. But Castle, spine buster! Gone with a spine buster. Castle, bring him up. Punch, punch, punch. And a fourth one. Two more. And we six. And there's a seven. A seven ten split? Nope. That's that's ten. I think Rogers have it. And there's a knee drop. No Rogers in the corner. Punch blocked. It looked like a splash was coming, but Rogers let Castle managed to get the boot up and a drop toe hold out of the side headlock. Punch is raining again, slamming him in the mat. Picking him up. Oh god, he got him by the throat. Go for the choke slam! Get up. No, gonna pick him up. And another spine buster. Picking him up again. Wish whip to the buckle. Oh, picking him out of the corner. And into the other one. Punch. Putting him up top. Chop. Chop. Backing away. Probably waiting for him to get up. Don't think letting Rogers fly and drag through the air is a good thing. That 
Rogers missed. It was Gessel man to move out of the way. And here we go. No, another splash blocked. Rogers going for a drop kick in the corner instead. Rogers going for a handstand back. What? A handstand moonsault. Got the waist. Castle put him in the corner again. Again setting up top. Chop, chop, and there's a third one. Went for the splash a third time, didn't pay off. And there's a spy buster. Third spine bust with a match. And here we go with the second choke slam of the night. Come on, Castle, just end the match. You've done enough. But went for a splash a fourth time. He missed. Send him into the corner again. Punch. Set him up top. Chop, chop. Getting in his face. Wait, wait for him to get up again. Oh, got him. And this is the third choke slam of the night. He's not Castle. Just pin him. You've done enough. Three choke slams is enough. Rogers fighting back. Kick, punch, kick. Oh god, here we go. Got him up. Looking for a power bomb. No! Oh, power bomb in a buckle. Castle shoved him off. At the waist. And the back suplex. And drop the knee across the face. And there's the fourth spine buster. I believe he's gonna end it here. Oh god, I, we've seen him do this in UW plenty of times. The time and punishment. One, two, three. That match should have ended much, much long earlier. Jobcast, you probably injured and some you probably injured someone. Four choke slams. No. Three choke slams and a power bomb. match of the first half so far four superstars have no 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 not four three superstars have made it on three have not three is to, one would say you move you, you win you move on you lose you're gone three have three are gone and three have moved on like so ghost bloodshed Chris crazy and Adam Pulp. Brand 
Brandon Baker versus who? Is that Victor Williams? In Russia? Trying to get another trying to keep the TV or rather regain the TV title? Hmm. It's interesting of anything. Baker already firing away. Side headlock. Snapmare into an elbow on top of the head. More, look like more of a back and neck. Rather than a boot. Your waist lock into a back suplex. Now Williams firing away with some bunches of his own. And a jumping headbutt. Rear waist lock into a spinning back suplex. Laying in a boot, got him back up, into the wrist lock, and Irish whip into the buckle, almost knocking the ref down, punch, punch, third one upside the head, I'm gonna toss him across the ring, rear waist lock, no, Baker with a stat mare, kick, or rather a stomp, no. oh, that looked like a sidekick, but he missed. And now Baker with the punches. And Williams with the kick into the gut. And oh, it's this. And a Samoan draw from an Englishman. I'm just gonna slam his head into the mat. Near near the hardest part of the ring. And there's a drop kick from the big man. And dropping an elbow across the leg. Up with another elbow. Collar and elbow tie up. And Williams with a front chancery. Into a weird waist lock. Just a, just a smack him in the back of the head. And an STO. Slamming his head into the mat again. And it went for the elbow drop, but he missed. And that's pressed by Baker. Laying in the boot. Bunches raining away. Kick in the midsection. Side headlock. And a thumb. Th th yeah, forearm to the throat. Williams. No. Williams, do not even think about it. This is, uh, this is my first job here. Do not break it. The big with the does press. Shots raining like piston fire. And Baker running into him. And Williams with the steps. He uses those. He gets DQ'd. And Thez press. And Williams shoving him off. And a clothesline from Baker. Baker getting right back in the ring. Williams right after him to make the fuck to make it before the ten. Just take using a takedown. Made a little boot earlier. And oh no. Williams got the Baker. William has Baker up. For the London Bridge. Got him with the London Bridge. Drag him away from the rope. One. Two. No. Only a two count off the London Bridge. That is press. Baker with the Des press. Williams shoving him up with a shot and a flying forearm. I think I saw a bit of whiplash. One, two, three. There had to have been some whiplash off that. Williams is the fourth man to move on into the next round. But bang, there's that Samoa drop. And then this. I thought it was going to be over. The London Bridge. We shot the half of one, two, no, only a two. 
And he caught him with that flying forearm. And then they got the three. And I believe there's another commercial. Could be wrong. Apparently I was wrong. Hey, the boss! Oh, let me check first. I think that... Oh, right here. Chaos title rematch. Mark Brandle versus Ian. I uh, believe this would be Extreme Rolls? Not fully sure. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't say that. It just says a regular singles match. So, deep. Randall has championship advantage. Yo, can you excuse me? I'm gonna get something to drink. Counting for near an hour, it will take a toll on you. And I'm back in. <clears throat> Commenting for as long as I have. On my first day, water is your best friend. And here we go, belt matches underway, and Brandon already with a hip toss, this is what Ian charged at him. And Brandon backbreaker, neckbreaker combination. Brandon front chancery, and tripping the big man up. It's like what, 7 2, 448? And doing it again, trying to mock the guy. Typical Brando fashion, as I've seen his matches. Caught him with the back of the head of the roundhouse kick that I did catch. And chop block. Trying to take out that vertical base early. And going in with what I believe that's called a Celtic knot. Trying to tear apart his legs. No, one for that roundhouse again, but he missed. Caught him with the. No, drop kick missed. He unkicked. Run chance we know. Brandle with the Russian leg sweep. Brandle up top. Going for the overcastle. As some would call it a blockbuster. Brandle got him in the corner. STO into the middle buckle. That's gonna hurt. Top of the gut. A big boot to the face. 
There's another. There's a roundhouse. Oh, kick, drop, punch, knocked him down. And no, Brando tried for something, but Ian with the kick to the gut. And no, Brando with a knee into the gut. And belly to belly suplex. And again, going after the legs. Brando's got a game plan and it involves tearing the part Ian's legs. Now going after the arms. Tried to go after the legs again, but Ian kicked him off. Oh, the kick? No, Ian with a scoop slam. Punch? No. Went well, there's a roundhouse. Ian tried to go after the legs, but Ian kicked him off. Oh, went for the back, spinning back kick. Ian going for a shin breaker. Ian picking up Brandle up. Brandle with the side headlock. Going into the waist lock. I believe this is an Argentine side slam. Yes, it is. And again, after the legs. Locking it into a variation of the sharpshooter. Ian trying to crawl to the ropes before he tap, so he doesn't tap out. Force a rope break. And he does. Side headlock by Brandle. Into a front chance. No, Ian picks him up and throws him into the air. Punch. Front chancery again. Into the rear waist lock. And a butterfly lock? Or a butterfly full Nelson? I don't think you're going to make him tap out that way, Brandle. You did not do much to his arms. So you're not doing anything there. Let's go with a hold. Kick, no. Kick, punt, bleh. Cannot keep up. Ian starting to fire away. Randall with the waist. Going for another Argentine back. Argentine side slam, excuse me. And again, going after the legs. This time going after the shins. Oh! Putting his full body weight into it with a jump. And another Celtic knot. Oh, we've seen this move like three times? I even lost count. There's a back kick. Another kick, cross chop punch. And here we go with a back suplex. And a kip up. Ian back up. Punch, punch. Oh, Ian with the punches. Your waist lock and buffer chancery. Looks like a clothesline. And another one. Ian. And he ended the buckle. Mm, splashed him. And there's a spear. And Ian. Gonna send Irish weapon into the buckle. Oh no. That's, a bit, that's near 450. Coming down with a splash. Pull him off the ropes. And one. No, only a one. Brandle extremely resilient. And gonna get caught with the Ian with a jackknife. Pull him on the ropes. One. No, only another one. Brandon with the waist. No, send him over the rope. No. Ian, sunset flip over the rope. One. No. Brandon flipping him over. One. Two. No. Ian reverse. One. No. Might have gone with some sort of super kick, but it didn't phase him. No. Went for the corner clo padded corner close on, but he missed. And kind of show him into the mat. At least the hardest part of the ring. Brando outside. What? No. Brando, you do not use that chair. You have champion's advantage, but you do not need to stoop to levels like this. And Brando again right back in the ring. 
Brandon, shove it in him all back off the apron. Went for a punch, and he just running right back in. Got the wrist, and a big boot. And looks like a rear naked choke with the body scissors. Come on, Rapper, he was touching the rope. That's an easy rope break. Ian turning back around and again applying the rear naked choke. Doesn't look like he's in the ropes this time. Ian probably calling him for a, small, a spike. Dragging Brandle into the middle of the ring. Going for the cover. One. No. Another one count. That was Brandle so resilient. With the waist lock. Drop kick into the back. And Thez press. The shots are like piston fire. And now Brandle mocking him. No. There's no way you can get him up for a jackknife. He got him up. That's near 500. Or rather near 450 and he got him up. Well, up top. Going for a high flying move? No. Caught him up with an axe handle. Going back up again. And coming down with a leg drop. And I believe this is the banded triple suplex. There's one. Uno. Dos. Here comes the third. Adios. Brandel. Looking for the super stardom. Got him. Pin him. Do not show off, Brandel. It's going to cost you. Oh, wait, wait. Samoan spike. Got him with the spike. All right, with the clothesline, a second one. Ducking one from Ian, and a snap power slam. And now with that punching combination, and one upside the jaw. Picking him back up again. No, Ian, small package. One, two. Oh, it was a two count. Vandal kicked out at two. And here we go. Second super stardom. And Brandel going towards the ropes. What is he doing? No. He's got the chair. Ref's trying to count him out. Brandel's got the chair. And pulls out a Steve and he caught him with it. Ian wins the match by DQ, but Brandel retains. Brandel celebrating and Ian's not happy. Dr. Clothesline, Brandel's shooting the punches. There's the third. And gonna send the big man over the top rope. Ian wins, but Brandel retains. We gotta go. This is this has been Vance Lucius signing off.